da 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 Oh. My. God. So I even learned that. I learned it so much I want to pass it on to other people. It's us. It's a us thing. I bring the funk. I don't go to the funk. I bring the funk. Oh, uh, yes. Um, my name is Bravo Brahms of the Fortune. Uh, I was born in Haiti, 1962. Because I'm a DJ and producer and whatever. Oh, um, well, there's, there's hip hop now and there's hip hop from a time ago. Because uh, right now you have a lot of people saying, oh, I want old school hip hop. And then you got new school hip hop. Then you have hip hop R&B. So uh, it's, it's worldwide. That's the best way I can describe it. I like to tell people that um, from when it started, that it was just in a few um, boroughs in Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, because that's where all your pioneers come from. Uh, now, you'll find hip hop in Russia, you'll find hip hop in Istanbul. Um, KRS One has a big project out now that he's got one song and just clips of all the different countries, people rapping and social stuff, because he's into that social stuff. So there's a difference between the bitch and hoe stuff, the social stuff, uh, the I'ma get my money stuff, the um, f um, your mother this, your mother that stuff. So it, it's, it's got a lot of branches. That tree has a lot of branches. Oh my gosh, that's scary, man. Being that I come from the life before there was hip hop, um, I always look at it as something for young people to express themselves. And then all of a sudden now, younger people got into it and they kind of took it in a different direction. But for me, I just respect it. I don't even know if I like it. I just respect it. Ah, oh man. The, the, the battle aspect, you know, it's a problem. Because I know this now there's three types of people that hang out. Three types. And I got that, got that from the Europeans. You got the ones, I just went to battle. I'm going to battle. I'm like, okay. Then you have the ones that, you know, I just went to a session. I just went to a session. Then you got the ones that go, I don't want to battle. I don't want to session. I want to go to a party. I want to go to a party and I want to have fun. That's it. And that's like, one's gonna come around to the other, the other one's gonna come around to the other. Eventually, everybody's gonna have to party. Because in my time, you didn't have a battle. You got burnt and you got beat up, stabbed or shot. But these people, and I always bitch about it, in Europe, they should be embarrassed for themselves to even use the word battle because this is a worn, torn country. There used to be tanks go down the street. They blow shit up. That's a battle. You guys have tournaments, but nobody want to use that word because it's not dope, it's not fresh, it's not hype. But technically, in martial arts, they don't even have battles, they have tournaments, and they beat each other up. You guys, you come in, oh, I'm better than you, I'm better than you, you battle, 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 two, three rounds, and then they hug each other. Now battles, even here you people don't like battles, because it's every week, I don't care. Because everybody wanted so bad, look at me, I'm dancing, I'm cyphering, look at me. I don't do that shit. I don't even say look at me. I don't have to say it, okay. If I see you looking, I'm like, uh-huh, you better get some of this. That's not a battle. It's an exchange. You were at a dance tournament, a dance competition, but all oh, battle because everybody wanted to be, oh, I'm this, I'm down, the Bronx. This ain't the freaking Bronx, bro. And people in the Bronx are not even battling. They're not even having tournaments in the Bronx. Everybody, yo, I'm just gonna chill out, man, because you know what? I don't want to get shot. I don't want to get stabbed. I don't want no beef. But the Europeans, because they want, I want America, I want this, I want that. Battle, the battle, the battle, the battle. Grow up, <laughs> have a tournament, have an exchange, leave the word battle out of it. I know it's good for business, but my age, I'm just laughing going, y'all gonna fix that. Because I always say to all my um, students, go home tonight, don't tell your parents, tell your grandparents you're going to battle tomorrow and look at their face and tell me what they say. A what? A battle? Oh, 
what? You see, what, so that goes to tell you that something is wrong in the language. Because you can't tell that to your grandparents. Battle, what happened? Is it, you understand, especially now, you know, with all of this thing that's going on, politics. I'm very deep into politics. I pay attention. Some people are like, oh, that shit ain't gonna happen here. And then when it happens here, what are you gonna say? Oh shit, I didn't know that was gonna happen. It's not a good word. It's not a good term. Oh my gosh, that's just a good getaway. Um, some people do video games. Uh, it's like sports, man. Dancing is a sport. Some, soccer, right? In Europe, here's a big soccer place. So it's just the same thing. You release, you, you get your freedom. You, you release um, all kind of happy stuff, a competitive edge um, even. But um, it, it's a feel good thing and it keeps you healthy as hell. The message I would have for the youth that want to become whatever it is, don't get pinned into, I'm a b-boy. If you're 25 going on 35, you're not a b-boy. Because when hip hop from the Bronx, New York City, b-boys, b-boys are just that, boys, kids. B-boys now are your, how old are you? 22? Yeah, I know b-boys that are 32. That's not a b-boy, that's a b-man. You're a dancer. Dancing to this, because eventually you're gonna change into something else. There's no way, I mean, why would you wanna be, you can't do power moves when you're that old. It's gonna hurt, something's gonna break. You know, be true to yourself, open-minded, you know? And um, just respect, respect the next person's moves, respect yourself, don't diss people, you know? Because next thing you know, you slip and you, you, know, you break an ankle, where's the dissing now, you know? That's all, it's just be very true to yourself. That's very important. Well, let's put it like this. I give credit to drugs because I'm sure a lot of the steps I stole from the people that were on drugs, so I give credits to that. Because again, I wouldn't do that, but now I do their steps. Ah, you dance very nice, ah, you're cocaine. Ah, you dance very, oh, you crazy dancer, dancer in New York, huh? you're cocaine. 12, two girls walked up to me, I thought I was sexy. That's okay. There goes the sexy. Yeah, man. That, I get offended by that. That's not what makes me work. What makes me work is energy. Just feeding off of people and having a good time. I check my body at the door. Y'all ain't check your body at the door. Y'all don't. You have cocaine? Cocaine? You have cocaine? 12. My ears was hurting. Just some people asking me for that. I don't do drugs. I'm crazy, yes. But I don't do drugs. So I guess it makes you kind of like don't forget what you do, don't remember what you do, and everybody knows the whole alcohol thing. The biggest thing is the bar, everybody drinks. Oh, I'm Germany for God's sake, I'm German. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I'm like, so? But if you're doing my shit, ain't gonna be no, I don't drink. Can you imagine if all these people drank? Oh God, people be kicking each other in the face. <laughs> I'm drunk. You can't get down like this if you're drunk, man. That doesn't work. I am, even now with the young dancers, don't smoke. I mean, that's no secret, you know. I'm not begging you or bitching that you shouldn't do it, but why? Save your money. You understand what I'm saying? Someone, oh, I gotta do some weed, man. I feel real nice when I dance. I'm like, ain't no difference, bro. Believe it or not, I just picked up this small little book, um, about hip hop in the weirdest way, man. It's a kitty book. It's it's um, uh, it's about uh, Cool Herc. Um, at the beginning, it's got little drawings and very. Big. As a matter of fact, I have. I'm gonna give it to my people in um in Budapest, uh, Romania area, because I think it's just so cool. It's the simple way. Because I had a friend of mine that was reading a, a real big hip-hop book written by this um, PhD guy, blah, 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 blah. And he called me up and be like, yo, man, you kind of old and come from that. What the hell is this guy talking about? I'm like, what, what are you reading? He goes, yo, this guy's like a PhD, uh, blah, blah. I don't remember the name of it, but he's like, he's a PhD and he's all of this. And I'm reading this. I mean, I'm like 45, but I don't understand what the hell this guy's talking about. He's like, oh, it comes from Africa. It comes from this. I'm like, 
Yeah, right. I said, when they do too much homework, they start to make stuff up. Because people in Africa right now are acting like people in America. So apparently it don't come from Africa, because if it did, they wouldn't have to act like the people from America. Everybody's like, yo, yo, yo. And it's like, if you're already from Africa, why are you acting like people from America that supposedly they told them come from Africa? Because when you tell an African, African-American, they say, what is that? <laughs> and you can't even explain it. If you're in America, I mean. Um, anything that's good, once you start reading anything, if it's a little bit confusing, don't bother with the rest. Because then you're going to have, you know, you're going to call and ask, yo, what's this? I'm, I don't know. I didn't write it. I don't even know the person. You know what I'm saying? Just because you see it, if it says hip hop and you grab it and all of a sudden, if you have an idea what hip hop is supposed to be and that book don't feel right, it's not right. So, I, you know, recommendations, I, I have none, man. Because if you look at it, even your big hip hop stars, Puff Daddy, Jay-Z, those guys are selling alcohol now. They own restaurants. I don't know if that's hip hop. That's business. <sighs> Last words. Stop battling, learn to exchange, and have a good time. Thank you. <laughs> Leave me the way I am. I'll do it. I'm trying to Photoshop. I'm gonna hook you up. No, I don't wanna be hooked up. <laughs>